copyright 2014 math diagnostics and intervention all rights reserved we're going to take a look at how to solve some one-step equations so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the equation 3x equals 6 now many of you can probably do this in your head and say well obviously x is 2 but we need to take a look at why x is equal to 2 so I'm going to draw a little picture of what's going on here I've got three of these boxes that are called X on one side of my equation and on the other side of the equation I have six positive signs and each one of those positive signs represents 1 so I now have the pictorial representation of 3x equals 6 and the question when we're solving an equation is if I have 3 of my x is equal to 6 what is 1x going to be worth or how many of these numbers over here will fit into each one of my x so that all of the x's are the same and if we take a look at it we can divide our numbers into three equal parts of two we have three groups of two and they're all the same so each one of these X's here has to represent two of those numbers and that's exactly what we end up doing we end up taking our three X and then we divide both sides of my equation by 3. 3 divided by 3 is just 1, so that's 1x equals 6 divided by 3 is 2. And what we've done is we've said that if I divide my x's by 3, I'm going to take my x's and I'm going to divide them by 3. So I'm only going to have this x here when I divide my x's by 3, and I'm only going to have one of these three groups of 2 left over. So that tells me that one of my x's is going to be equal to 2. Let's take a look at another example. Let's suppose that we have, uh, let's make it negative 4x equals negative 12. In this case here, I have four boxes of negative x this time equal to negative 12 so I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 negatives and once again we need to find out how many each of these X's or in this case the negative X's are going to be worth if I have to have them all be worth the same well in this case I have four of my X's so I need to group my negatives into equal chunks of in this case three so I'm dividing each of my sides in my equation by just 4 and that tells me that a negative X is worth negative 3 but if negative X is equal to negative 3 then X is equal to 3 and I could have saved a step here by saying negative 4x equals negative 12 and just divided both sides by negative 4 negative 4 divided by negative 4 is just 1 so that gets me 1x equals negative 12 divided by negative 4 is 3 so in our one-step equation what we want to do is we want to take the value of the coefficient attached to the X and divide both sides by that value 
when we have a multiplication problem. However, we might have a division problem where we have x divided by 7 equals 3. What this equation is telling us is that we have 1 seventh of an x equal to 3. So in order to get rid of the 1 seventh of an x, or to get rid of the x divided by 7, I need to multiply both sides of my equation by 7. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must do to the other. So 1 seventh of an x times 7 gets me one whole x on my left side, and then I have to multiply the right side by 7 as well. So this gets us x equals 21. So review, when we have an equation like 5x equals 10, we divide both sides by the coefficient of 5, in this case, and we get x is equal to 2. And when we have an equation like x over 3 equals 5, that's one third of an x, or x divided by 3. To get rid of the x divided by 3, I have to multiply by 3. And we get x is equal to 15 in this case. Remember this process, and you should have no trouble with one-step equations.